Is this a little redneck? My gosh, it is. I'm Chris Meyer. Join me and the Legendary Customs team as we take ordinary rides and craft them into Legendary Customs. The front is disassembled. So what's the plan? Uh, it's getting ready to pull the body out. Get the frame taken apart. All coated. This will go downstairs then, I'm assuming? Go back. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, we gotta do rafter lining and stuff underneath it, which will be on the lift, so. Sure. So that'll probably come next. Yeah. All right, deconstruction has started. The paint should be here Friday. It's looking good. Hello. <laughs> All right. This truck has moved over here. First time it's been here in almost a year. Our lift is freed up. Why? Because tomorrow this body comes off of this frame and then we will be ripping down the entire frame, everything on there, sending it off to be powder coated. So that is tomorrow ordered paint today so everything will be back on its way keep watching so much more to come it doesn't even look real holy shit that's cool looks like a picture Let's see. this guy hmm? I think I need to go just a, minute. just a minute right <laughs> like super bizarro
right, just pulled into our local Menards and I'm going to go in and get some earplugs and some razor blades so Zach can get at the engine. Hello. Hello. Kinda smells like <laughs> in here. Just saying. Nobody crapped themselves, so knock it off. Yeah. All right, so the frame is on the trailer. Needs to be strapped down. But we were gonna take this up to fairway today, but a little bit too late in the day so apparently tomorrow morning right away this goes to fairway to get blasted and powder coated It is hazy. All right. So the guys have been working on the underside of the 1952 Ford and it is coming out great. You guys will not believe this. So, gotta have it look good underneath, gotta have it protected. Before the end of the day, hopefully it'll go into an epoxy primer and then the entire bottom side is gonna be lined with Raptor Liner, a product that we really enjoy. Makes it so you can take the vehicle out in the muck if you wanted to, although I doubt that it ever will be, but if you wanted to, everything underneath is protected. But check out this floor. So, the whole entire shop was covered in this from cleaning out under here. So all the cracks and crevices, just wanted to clean everything out, blow it out, etc. Grind what needs to be ground, fix up. There's some little tiny holes that were needed. But anyway, make this bad boy what it needs to be. Something that's gonna last years and years and years and years and years. So proper prep work is needed. Again, this is the last thing that's being done before it goes into paint. Keep watching. Today at Legendary Customs, we are having Build a Fort Day. Well, not really. The underside is going into finished paint. To get into finished paint, you have to protect everything else in the shop. To protect everything else in the shop, you build a paint booth 
or a fort. That's exactly what Jeff is doing. The 52, as you can see, is all covered in plastic. A support on the left and right. This bad boy will be your doorway. And then yes, that is our exhaust fan on the other side of the shop. That's gonna pull everything out. Now, is this a little redneck? My gosh, it is. But will it do the job? Most definitely. So I'm gonna put this camera down, help Jeff out here, and then we will put the camera back on and show you our end redneck paint booth. All right, so Jeff's survival skills pays off in the paint booth. And he and I said the same thing right when we finished up. Almost looks like we know what we're doing. So we have both this spot and the other side pulled out because you have to get up in to these corners to paint. And that's right underneath the wheel. That's gonna get Raptor liner. And that will all be Raptor liner. It's gonna be good. Plenty of room in here. And then down on this side, an explosion proof fan, guaranteed not to do anything except suck air. <laughs> the tent, the survival skills, everything outside, good to go. Red neck. Okay, I would have to say success with the paint booth. This fan was on two, sometimes three, pushing air in. Fan on the end was on three all times, pulling air out. Everything is in a epoxy sealer slash primer. You take the primer and you add 10% reducer in it and it will actually make it a sealer which helps to protect more from dust. But Jeff hit it out of the park. The primer's on, looking good. Next is, you guessed it, Raptor liner. Now, a project like this, we have two and a half kits on hand. We already used half of a kit for inside fenders and inside of the inner fenders. So that is ready to go. Always have what you need, because this stuff, you can't just stop and then two days later, start again. It will peel off. Jeff. <laughs> Did you enjoy your journey under the truck? Always fun. The tent worked. <laughs> it looks awesome, man. Okay. I am coming to you live, not really, from inside of Jeff's tent. <laughs> Zach and Jeff worked really hard yesterday doing all the prep work. It took two guys a full day. Nate had probably a quarter of a day on it, so just to get it prepped for this. As you saw earlier, Jeff and I built the tent or the fort, and I wanna show you what this is. Now, the Raptor liner is controversial to some people. I'm gonna tell you straight up, if you are doing a restoration, a true restoration, and you want it to be worth the best money on the planet, do not do this. People look down on this as if you're covering something up or whatever, it's just not accepted. In a true restoration, you want it as close to what it came from the factory as possible, and this is not it. Now, if you plan on driving your vehicles and having fun and you want them protected from the mud and the slinging and the salt, if you have that in your area, although very few of these actually get out in the salt, but anyway, if you want some protection, 
this is your product. It looks good, it's easy to clean, and here, take a look. Seals up all the cracks and crevices after seam sealer. This product itself, you cannot, you should not put on bare metal. Just not a good thing to do. But inside the wheel wells, nice coverage, protects from rock chips and such. Some people have touted this as a sound deadener. I could see that maybe a small amount, but not anything like some of the spray on products that are truly made to be a sound deadener. If you have an open seam and you don't seal it and you just raptor line it, it is not sealed, period. So you have to do full seam sealer before you do this. And underneath that, a metal sealer. But anyway, that is a quick look at what we have. Jeff did an awesome job, in my opinion. And I would imagine in his own opinion, he did an awesome job himself. The firewall is done in this. Talk to the owner, that's what he wanted. Running boards, everything has a nice layer of Raptor. So there you have it, 1952 F1 Ford panel truck has turned a super corner and we are on the home stretch of actually finishing it versus doing sanding, 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 and sanding. Body work's done, underside's done. Body is off being powder coated, media blasted and powder coated. We'll bring it back, we'll assemble it, put the body back down on top, and then it is going into paint. Appreciate each chamber wheel and you watching. There's so much more to come. We're out of here right now.